Welcome to another Unturned video. Today we're continuing the Rust Turn series and this is episode 2. If you guys haven't watched the previous episode, we built a base, done some PvP and raided some bases. If you guys want more Rust Turn, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video. Alright, he's in there. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, he did come back. Maybe he placed a bed this time. That guy that I have just killed is our new neighbor, and this guy has been upgrading base while we were offline, and we are worrying that he's going to offline raid us, so we had to do something about it. Now, Nicole did log off in his base, and I wanted to craft one C4, where in there, there were two lockers, which we would soon break. Alright, so I got myself the 1c4, should be enough. Now Nicole did join the server as well. We have to be careful that she doesn't die because she has a lot of good loot on her because she logged off with it. Let's go check out what loot he had when I killed him actually. It's been a while as well. Yeah, there it is. Uh, a lot of logs, a lot of metal. Wait, it just despawned. There's no- okay. <laughs> Well, at least I did get this, the metal. Alright, well, we're gonna raid the lockers. I don't think he made a bed. Yeah, I don't know why he's not doing a bed. Kind of stupid. But 1c4, hopefully, will be enough to break both of these lockers. Alright, we'll throw it there, and then we'll run straight down. And both, and I, the leather broke as well. Seems like there's some loot. Let me see Pete and Nicole. Alright, and let's check out what loot there is. Seems like two shotguns. Some 20 high-quality metal. This was pretty bad, though. High-quality metal is nice, though. I think I heard somebody outside. Oh, he's dead. Oh, this is the same guy. This guy has so much good loot. I'm thinking he might have a secondary base somewhere. I don't think this is his main base. I think he built a base just to be close to mine. Maybe it's like a raid base or something. But he, he left the server. Uh, he just rage quit. What we're going to do next is we're going to start upgrading the main base. We only have one floor. It is full high quality metal though, so that's pretty good. But we're going to start upgrading the second floor. We do have still quite a ton of high quality metal. And that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to farm. Obviously, the pillars will all be stone. The only thing that we really need to make high quality metal are the roof and the walls and if I'm going to make any more doorways. Currently I'm just making as much C4 as possible. We do have quite a ton of components in order to make them. We've kind of moved all of the loot from our first base to this main base for now. I am back from another lighthouse run. This one we actually got a locker and a LR which is pretty good in my opinion. We'll place that right over there for now. Part of the second floor is just metal for now. Later on we'll just upgrade. We didn't have enough high quality and we really couldn't leave it open. I made myself a bunch more boxes onto the second floor. I'm gonna run around with the only jackhammer that we have to try to get as much sulfur and metal as possible. Nicole's gonna be running around with me, giving me cover, because I don't really want to die with this jackhammer. There's a guy in here, I'm pretty sure. Alar, Alar MP5. He's a locker as well. A bunch of mags, a bunch of components. Wait, we're, wait, we're getting raided. Oh, Nicole killed them, nice. Bro, this guy just ran up to our base and started throwing C4 at us. What the hell? Well, she killed them though, so... Wait, what loot did he have? Oh, LR, a bunch... Okay. A hazmat so He didn't really damage that much. He broke a pillar and, like, the stairs. That's pretty much it, so... Now you gotta fix it really quickly then. I was just making C4 to go raid somebody else, but then we ended up getting raided. Okay, so me and Nicole both have a hammer and we're just fixing everything as soon as possible. Might take us a while. Hopefully he doesn't return. If he returned, then he would basically just waste more C4. Because, honestly, we fixed up a lot of this already. And all of the C4 he threw were a huge waste. I'm gonna start making another floor so we could start moving the loot up. If he does return, then he's probably going to from the bottom and he would need to waste more in order to come upstairs right, he's back oh no nicole's dead i got him i got him i'm gonna bleed out oh uh, yeah thankfully i have another base though yeah, i have to go back hopefully he actually doesn't have a bed close uh, and i came to the wrong bed no way Do you hear no Man, he made a huge hole in our base. How oh, is this load? Full heavy plate. I think we have to move base. This guy's not gonna stop my load. I was building the base, man. Alright, no problem. We technically got a lot of stuff from this guy. Guns and then some good clothes. Yeah, we have to move. He damaged a lot of our base. So we have to move. We have to take all of the load and leave. He doesn't know that the other base is, is ours. But if he decides to raid that, that one's going to be an instant loss. He even broke the stairs. Alright, so what we're gonna do. I have a bed very close to the harbor. I'm just going to take as much items, put it in our temporary base in our one by two right next to us nicole will stay by the load i will go to harbor and build a base there as soon as possible and then we'll start transferring the load hopefully he doesn't return though wow 
One by two base is done. I just need a door and I need to make a bed. I need to find myself three clothes really quickly. Now I'm gonna go back and get as much loot as possible from the base that got, just got raided. Hello. Any loot for us? Yeah, another heavy jack and another heavy plate. Another LR with a bunch of mag. Okay, well, technically we didn't lose any loot though. All that we lost is a bunch of like high quality metal walls and that's it. And the rest that are still here, we'll just fix them later and we'll we'll bring them to our new base. I brought with me a bunch of good loot. Thank God I had the other bed, man. If I didn't have the other bed, I would have bled out and we would have lost that. That's why on Rust turn, it's always a good idea to have at least another bed very close to your main base. I'm gonna dump everything good in here. I'm gonna put it in here so I could also fill up the vault when I'm there. Okay, so we pretty much salvaged everything that's good and fixed them. So now we're just gonna spend the next time building and upgrading the base. I wanna make it bigger than last one. We kinda lost that one because we weren't really that much defended. Base is done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this loot from down here and we're gonna start spreading it around the base that way if we're gonna get traded they wouldn't just get access to one loot room and get everything half of the base is high quality metal another half metal and then at the bottom it's stone we don't really care about the bottom though because we're not gonna leave any loot down there now it's time to start farming some explosives i got myself a bunch of fuel on me I am back by the lighthouse. Our 2x1 is still pretty much unraided, so that's good. The guy didn't return everything that we left basically still there. But we're going to farm. We're gonna farm metal, we're gonna farm sulfur. I drop landed right on the pillar. Hopefully some good loot. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Those gears can be very useful for armored doors. I like that. We're starting to get ourselves quite a ton of C4 as well. Place them right in vault. Right now we have nine. Time to start looking around for base trades. Nine C4 will be plenty to raid any base that's not too big at least. Right, we found this. It's metal. And we're through. And this base is completely empty. What's an insane base raid? Oh, well, there's a base down here as well. And the owner is actually online. This might be a live base, but apparently they're doing a raid somewhere else. So hopefully he won't even notice that we're gonna raid them. Alright, we're through. Looks like it's just uh, a honey honeycomb. I don't have that much C4 left. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's here. Insane live base raid. Then. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, it's a bunch of honeycomb men. Oh my god, he's geared. What the hell is he doing? I need to depot this. I have another jackhammer. I have 20 explosives, 100 sulfur, 100 log. Wait, another AK? So I don't have that much C4 left. I need to craft more. I have to go craft more. Let me get the C4. I don't know where I have to raid. Wait, I'm gonna throw it there. Dead. They're both dead. Bed right there. Wait, destroy the bed. Okay, we're lucky that we actually found the bed. I was hoping for the loot room, to be honest. What is this? Another LR, 30 logs, hazmat suit. Okay, we just raided a duo live. And wait, this is the loot room. We found the loot room. Oh my god. Okay, well, we don't have C4 though, so I need to craft one so quickly. We did get the 20 explosives from this guy. And I think I might have some scraps of explosives here and there. Maybe enough to raid it. No, I don't think I have enough though. I think I need to go get myself some fuel. I have everything else except for fuel. Alright, fuel, fuel. That, that, that's literally enough. I don't need that much. And now we go home and we craft the C4. Alright, cloth and one tech trash. And now we have enough. Alright, we're back. I don't know if they're here. Let me just throw the C4, get the loot and get out of here. And... Oh my god, there's so much loot. Oh, okay. Let me just take as much stuff and go. Nicole's gonna cover me, I assume. There's so much charcoal in here. Why is there so much charcoal? Oh, oh nice, Nicole got him. Okay, wait, let me find and take AKs, a bunch of guns, hazmat suits, meds for days. All right, let me go home and drop the items. I just need to go home, drop everything, and come back and take that. Okay, I'm back. Another LR. Wait, I'll take that. All right, let's take the rest of the load. There's so much loot in here. Oh my god, there's there's so many... M Dude, there's so many M249s and M39s. This is insane. Those are so rare. 100 high quality. Okay, wait. Nicole should help me take the load. Yeah, let me take all of this ammo. These guys were stacked. This is actually an insane base raid. Okay, and we are back. We have pretty much taken everything that is important. We could go back though, but we got so much good loot from that raid. This is actually insane. All right, now it's time to organize everything that we've just got. We're gonna go back, we're gonna see if we left anything important. We're back and some of the loot is still here. Yeah, this is what we've left. He didn't return. Let me do this TC over here so they can truly come back. We have returned with another C4 and we're gonna break this locker. Okay, gunpowder, log, sulfur, did everything to make T4 except for oil. Well, alright guys, that's going to be it for episode 2. Now, episode 3 will continue and it's going to get even more intense. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!